Well, tremendously excited. Uh, been waiting for this moment and this weekend for a long time. And uh, uh, wish my buddy Corky could be here, but we've been excited. And we're going to try to honor him the best we can with uh, a lot going on right before the meet. And then uh, we've got some of the best teams in the country coming in that we've not had here before. Is that, what's that mean to you? I mean, as a guy, you know, working his way up from Abilene Christian and whatnot, and, and to know that they want to come compete in your new facility. Yeah, I have to pinch myself sometimes to say we're in a $50 million building that, uh, you know, in my 19th year, uh, I just couldn't be more proud of, of where our program has come and, and the respect I think that we've got around the country. And then for the university to give us this commitment uh, of building something like this and just allow us to run against the best in the country because we have it now. And uh, I'm pretty thrilled about that. I know I know it's a home field advantage for you, but I mean, how, how much time have you guys actually had in here? Uh, not much. It won't be big home field advantage this week, but uh, I guess it's a little bit better than not having it at all. It's been, as you know, right to the minute of getting things ready, and we haven't had a lot of time, but we've been on it a week, and hopefully uh, as we go through the weeks, I think that's where it'll really make a difference. On the flip side, you uh, don't have to get in a bus and drive uh, <laughs> hours and hours to get to any place you're going. Yeah, I, I was thinking uh, we were headed to Arkansas on a 10-hour bus ride last year at this time, and so uh, that's what's going to be really helpful to our kids, to not get beat up in the indoor season. Uh, it's tempting to run everybody every week here, and I won't be able to do that because these boards are harder on your body. A tight 200-meter bank, they're, they're harder on your body, but it's also very fast. But we'll have that luxury of we want to rest somebody a week we can. We won't miss any school. Uh, it's going to be really good for our student athletes. What's your favorite part of the indoor facility? Well, I, I think I'm most partial to the track itself. Uh, it is a the widest radius built in the world today. It is the fastest NCAA track, I believe. We're about to find out. And it's uh, no one has that. We have 42-inch lanes. Most everyone's 36 to 39. So it's the widest track, the widest lanes, and I think the fastest surface with Bynum. And so that's what I'm really looking forward to. How does the, the wider lane help? Well, it's like anything, the wider the turn, the faster you can run on it. And the tighter the turn, well then it, it's harder. So it's really just that, it's that simple. Am I right in thinking that six All-Americans are returning back this year? Yes, six All-Americans in the indoor season. That's, that's correct. Kind of set the expectation pretty high. It is, I think our kids feel this facility is one of the best places to compete, but also, I think those six are going to be leading this group a little bit, and they've been there, and I think that experience hopefully is going to, going to help the whole group. Can you just speak a little bit to Charles Brown and kind of where he's at? We obviously wanted to see more of him last year and didn't get yeah. a chance after um, Big 12 outdoor. Just what are you thinking for him? Yeah, unfortunate for him. We uh, leading the country in the long jump and didn't get to jump past Big 12. So, uh, yeah, we're, we have great expectations for Charles. I mean, with this runway, uh, these are built-in runways. They're two feet deep, uh, elevated runways. They're supposed to give back better than any place we've ever jumped on. So we think he's going to jump out of the pit here. And uh, triple jump and long jump. So uh, we may not high jump much anymore after that injury. So uh, we're going to try to keep him healthy this year. How many, class, <clears throat> how many groups of recruits did you recruit with this when this was up? Kind of concept stages? You know, we talked about it for a couple of years, but really we this this class probably got to see some some images, but we never got to come in here and touch it and be able to have anything set up. So uh, as good as people think, oh man, that your recruiting class got to do this, I think the future recruiting classes are ones really gonna appreciate this. What's the plan for honoring Corky? Well, we've got a video uh, that's going to start off uh, at about 1245, uh, which we have a couple of videos. We have uh, about 100 exes that are coming back, many of them that he coached, uh, that are going to be here with will line up. We just have tons of people in the community going to come, but I think the video and what's going to be said about him and our kids are going to be wearing corky patches on our red uniforms. Red was his favorite color. Uh, he hated the Red Raiders to be in anything but red, so uh, we're going to try to honor him the best we can. Who are some of the notable uh, former athletes? Well, I don't, you'd have to ask Rodney, really. Uh, I, I know uh, Thomas Selman, who was the school record holder for the long jump for a long time. Uh, James Mays, uh, one of the greatest 800-meter people. I know they're all coming, but he just said the list keeps growing to 75 to about 100 now. So 
He's letting managers, co coaches, or, or athletes that were here, under me or Corky, uh, have a little reunion on Friday night. They're obviously still working on the indoor. What are they? What are, what are the last finishing touches before the meet? Well, these are a few little punch lists. I mean, they're just doing a little painting and a little bit of drilling, but getting TV set up, getting making sure all the audio and things like that are perfect. Uh, but the track's ready to roll. So uh, the throws area, we've got a little, a few little areas there we're fixing with netting. But uh, we'll be ready by by Saturday. So basically, if it weren't for all the media, you guys could hold me today. <laughs> oh yeah, no doubt. <laughs> Stands over there, seat uh, 800. 800. Yes, we are going to bring in stands on this side. We can put in as much as 3,000. We won't do that until we, if we happen to get a national meet someday. For Big 12s next year, we'll bring in four or 500, just so we can make sure we have plenty. But we will make uh, coaches uh, benches over here where you could coach the pole vault, you can coach the long jump triple, and then a few student athletes could. Be here but we will open that up totally so the warm-up people in there all our teams will be in there they'll be watching the meet as they're warming up so that's a really the coolest thing about that facility getting to warm up and be able to watch the meet at the same time is there any other facility comparable in that regard not in that regard a and this is built a little similar to AM except this is we have brick and they don't have that they have that uh, bubble kind of thing with plastic in it but you can't be in one place or the other. It, it's you're in there warming up, you can't see what's going on in here. And I hated that. That's the reason I put the doors in. Does that affect anything? Like, I would imagine, would that affect any speed? I know that's a little bit of wind, but I mean, is there, is there uh, Only if it's to our back, hopefully. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we've talked about the air conditioning and the heating, we may have turned it off, but we're gonna run this way for the dashes and we don't want to uh, have any headwinds, but I don't think so. There's just so little wind in here. And, it's neat to have opening. Not many people have the sun that can get in the facility. They're normally, it's just blocked off. And so this is very friendly to feel like you're not you know, claustrophobic. I got one non-track one. I know you got a busy schedule for this weekend, but you got September 1st in Houston marked down on the calendar to go watch a, watch a football game down there? No doubt. <laughs> I, I got the double interest now. So uh, yeah, real proud of my son, Zach. And, having the opportunity to go to Houston Baptist to be the OC and uh, get to call the plays and kind of run the show. So it's, uh, he's been here five years and I hate to lose him, him and my, my daughter-in-law, Emily, but uh, I'm looking forward to seeing them uh, be successful there. Oh, we're, we're all just thankful and, and super excited. It's, it's very beautiful. And we've actually, we've gotten a pretty good amount of time, it feels like, because uh, me and Brad stayed over Christmas break. And so we were out here uh, jumping and so we got a little extra time where everybody went home for the break what's it, Good. What's it gonna be like on Saturday in here? I mean just all, all of the uh, teams that are gonna be in here I mean, this is coach Kidley said this is probably gonna be one of the biggest meets of the year for you guys Yeah, for sure. Uh, so we're just excited for the competition for sure And uh, just just being in a in a facility like I feel like our teammates alone like whether anybody was here our excitement to perform in this facility is just gonna, uh, you know, send us over the roof. We're gonna be really excited just to compete in here. <clears throat> what feels different about this track and the facility uh, itself? Like, can you feel it on your feet? Can, is it just the 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 air in here? What what's different for you? Really, it's just it's just it's new. It's been a long time coming. You know, we've been waiting for this for a, for a very long time, and so. Just having this, having this new facility, we just feel like, I mean, we know it's one of the nicest in the nation and just all the hype around it is really, really, it's all in our heads. I mean, the, the quality is amazing too. And so just, just all that put together and our excitement, I mean, it's just like you held it in. It's like you missed two Christmases. And so then you're back and the, you had this this year. And so that's how we feel about it. Get any personal goals for you this year? Uh, I usually keep them, you know, kind of keep them to myself, but obviously just glorifying God in every jump, every way, uh, just competing, um, same, same mentality, just um, just believing in my coaching, my, uh, my off-season hard work, just believing in all that and uh, going out there competing and trusting the process. Wes has said the surface should be great for the runners, and he expects some of the fastest times in the nation on this track. With the surface, how will that affect the jumpers? Uh, I feel like it will. Um, the surface is, is very, very good here. Um, 
I don't know much about the science of the, you know, the surface and all that, but uh, it definitely feels good. We've been we've been having some really good practices in here, and so we're really looking forward to that. And how much difference does it make for you not being on a bus driving, like Wes said, 10 hours to Arkansas? Yeah, that, that's definitely going to be a big deal, just um, being in our house, waking up in our bed, you know, uh, not traveling overnight to get here, tra just all that traveling. You have to go shake out and warm up because you've been sitting down for hours and hours. And so just being, I mean, you're just going to be in your own routine and then you, you come up to your track meet. And so we're just going to feel comfortable. It's your routine. It's like when you come up to practice. And so having that, um, being comfortable. And uh, I mean, we're, our team is really focused on, uh, we have protect the house up here, protect this house. And so that's our mentality, just to come in here and every meet, just don't let anybody beat us and protect this house.